Ooh, nice. All right, let's let's play. Okay, wake up, friend. Is this me or is this the guy talking to me? My eyes fluttered, too heavy with sleep to fully open. Uh, what? Sorry, friend, we have to hurry. If we don't get moving now, we'll end up enveloped by the sands like the others. The sand. I slowly stood and tried to balance on my sore, unsteady legs. Tried to balance. What should we do? Climb and survive, friend. Climb, survive, and escape the sand. Mouse over stats cards to see what they do. Okay. Danger. Ooh, that's nice. Increases chance of instant incurring each turn. 10 out of 100, that's not bad. Guilt. Massively reduces cover at night. Recovery, sorry, at night. High guilt makes the prisoner more likely to have intrusive thoughts planted. Oof. Hunger slows healing at night. Any hunger over max will deplete exhaustion. Alright. Bond with friend. Decreases chance for friend to save the prisoner from incidents. Don't hit max distrust. That's true in all things in life. If exhaustion reaches max, the prisoner will collapse for three hours to restore 20 exhaustion. Floor. How many floors are you on? One. As a twilight remaining. When it reaches zero, the sand stops. It is too dark and dangerous to continue, so the prisoner stops to make camp. And then, hover over an, hover over an idea above to see the effect. Share food with your friend. Minus distrust plus hunger. Ah. Move quietly to throw anything that may be following off your trail. Rescue stranger. Trade your time for karma. I mean, this takes me the furthest. And... My hunger's... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> and my hunger's not so bad, so... Friend was looking hungry, so I shared my bread. Maybe I'm not such a bad person after all. Save time, shun a stranger in their time of need, saving valuable energy. Hmm. Right. Well, I don't need to do anything risky like that just yet. Remove a random wound. I don't believe I have one. Sink into the shadows and wait. Ah, oh, that's just minus. Surely time changes as well, though. Ooh, this is really good art. Plus seven distrust. Okay, I can afford that. Mystery box, though. 90% chance to learn a new, brighter idea. Let's find out what that is, actually. A bright light from the mystery box momentarily blinded me. Several images flashed in my mind. I learned a new idea. Sand is 6.8 floors away. Sand has risen 56 feet. One hour, 15 minutes past. Chance to find a place to climb, 36%. I see, so I'm climbing around this thing. Trying to find a way up to the next floor. Friend saved me from an incident. We were attacked by a crew of strangers trying to protect their stash. Friend explained we were just passing through and were able to escape unharmed. I stopped Friend from mentioning the coming sands. Why? Why why wouldn't we mention the sands? See now, is this the distance that I travel, or is this the distance that sand travels? Because I might have got that backwards. Yeah, that's the sands. That's the sand. I've been choosing the ones the big one. It's not good. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna we rescued a stranger from falling to their death. They promised to try and repay the favor, favor one day. Good. Hey, the chance just jumped up quite a bit there. That's quite nice. Mm. That's a whole hour. Yeah, we should just uh, scrounge.
boot corpse adds old equipment take and take old equipment from a desic desiccated 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 I think desecrated desiccated I forgot what that word means you can get like desiccated uh, coconut right yeah desiccated coconut but what does it mean having all moisture removed and dried out lacking vitality or interest oh, I guess I guess he's desiccated okay okay it's just my mind instantly went to coconuts karma adds teamwork rely on a friend minus exhaustion plus one idea choice but plus one disrupt per turn was disrupt eh, loot. loot loot the corpse old equipment minus two to exhaustion increases okay that's quite nice we found a corpse I went through the equipment and took some old items that should help for a while I apologize to the corpse as we left hey here we go climb to the next floor nice right well that took an hour it's now only two more hours penance no exhaustion five exhaustion or four exhaustion how's my guilt doing my guilt's fine screw it oh. let's do that oh yeah I've got minus two to exhaustion that's fine then that's more than fine charity help a stranger with the gift of sati 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 satiety satiety Satiety? Satiety. 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 That pronunciation sounds horrible. Uh, cool. Satiety to repay the favor one day. Charity, there we oh. go. Food was tight, but we decided to give some food to a stranger in need. It was hard for me to agree to do so, but later I felt good about myself. They swore they would repay the favor one day. All these strangers swearing to repair the f repair? repay the favor and uh, can't really guarantee that I'm ever going to see them. Gain wood. Minus five exhaustion next time you camp. That sounds pretty good, actually, because I think I'm going to have to do that soon. Yeah, let's do that. We found enough dried dead plant life to make a fire tonight. Shared trauma. Adds buff friendship. Spend some quality time with a friend. Reflecting on how messed up this whole situation really is. Mmm, that's not a bad thing. Nap. For an hour. <laughs> hour and 30. We're about to go to camp anyway. Climb. Oh, we found the next floor. We found a way up to the next floor, and after a short climb and a few falling rocks, we climbed a floor higher. And then, the twilight has ended. The sun shouldn't be able to rise until next twilight. It's time to make camp. After setting up camp, we sat down to eat. We've kept a good pace away from the sand. I think we can do this. I'm looking very emaciated. Not the talkative type, huh? Well, if we're going to survive long enough to see the sand reduce know what it says recede on the seventh day we should get to know one another I'll start I was sent here because I was the leader of a rebel group fighting against them the ones who sent us here we've been successful in remaining hidden for months but they finally caught up to us a traitor led them to us all right all right you're right we need to rest we've got a busy week ahead of us I have a horrible feeling my character is the traitor. Plus 10 hunger. Alright, we need to uh, do something about that. That night I dreamt. The dream says, sleep well. I dreamt of a large meal. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of hungry. It was a new day. And then, split it up. No gather wood. I need something that feeds me. <laughs> Go a different direction than a friend for one turn. Plus two to four random stat. Guarantees a place to climb will be found next turn. 
50% chance to lose an additional 30 meters. So the sand's definitely going to come up 45 feet. Wait, 35 M? Why is it M? Is the sand moving in 30 minutes, perhaps? Um, okay. But I'll definitely be able to get a floor up. How many floors are there in this place? My distrust and guilt are both quite low, so let's do this. One distrust per turn. Why would teamwork add distrust? The box slammed shut. I felt no different. Nothing happened. Well, I guess I got nothing out of that. Plus 10 hunger. Can't afford that. That's a lot of hunger. Yeah, let's, let's share this trauma. I mentioned to friend that this whole place was kind of freaking me out. Friend agreed. We talked about it for a while. It's nice to have someone who has your back. That sort of goes against the character characterization from previous, but fine. First aid. Oh, lunch break. There we go. Yeah, we need that. I should have been keeping an eye on exhaustion and hunger. It was time to eat. We posted up in a safe spot and sat down to have a meal. Secret route. This guy's looking pretty funky. Really, really thin. Massive arms, though. Trade a little food for a shortcut up. Ooh, plus nine hunger. One floor. Let's do it. I gave a strange creature some food, and it showed me where to find a way up. You borrow food from from a friend. Sounds like stealing, doesn't it? You know what? Guaranteed to go up a floor on the next turn. So. We split it up to increase our odds of finding a way up. I couldn't find friends, so I waited at the meeting spot for 30 minutes until we... Ah, I knew it. What? This is going to be our way up? That's a little bit annoying, but fine. Oh, if I do that, that will put us at 90 hunger. Hmm. Does get us away from the sand, though. The sand's pretty close. The sand will put the prisoner to sleep forever. <laughs> We've survived to camp another day. Five nights left until the seventh day. Say, so you've never mentioned why they banished you here. No, I did not. Ha! Come on. I already told you why I'm here. Theft. Theft? I was hungry. I couldn't afford food. It's their damn system. I was starving, so I did what I had to survive. Damn them. Always trying to control our lives. I'm sorry it came to this. I don't want to talk about it. Understood. On that note, let's get some rest. That night I dreamt. Sleep well. Oh, my hunger's at 100. <laughs> Flippin' heck. Am I dreaming? Yes, this is a dream. Oh, in that case, can I have another sandwich? Of course you can. Here you are. Thank you. What do I owe you? Just keep dreaming. The dream continued like this for a while until it faded to darkness. Third day. Very hungry. <laughs> Tell joke. Plus 10 danger to just stop and have a joke. My guilt is fine. It's really just my hunger. Ooh. This would really help. I feel bad to do it though, but. We encountered a stranger carrying way too much food and wouldn't share. I cornered them and brandished my stone shank. They learned a lesson in sharing that day. People like that don't deserve to live. <laughs> friend saved me from an instant without realizing I was about to eat rotten food, but friend knocked it out of my hand. Plus two distrust. Why would that be? Distrust. It'd be trust, surely. I wonder if there is a maximum amount of floors, or if it's just the higher you get, the more dangerous it is. I don't know. Murder? What? Strike down a stranger for an item they possess. Minus 15 exhaustion. Plus 15 distrust. Minus 10 hunger. Plus 20 guilt. Plus 10 danger. Nah, mate. That hunger would be good, though. Um. Oh, I see why teamwork is giving you distrust. It's because <laughs> I'm relying on them to do stuff for me. Time to make camp. Still alive. Four more nights until the seventh day then the sand will recede. Still alive. I'm imagining my favorite meal right now. 
I used to eat it all the time growing up. If we make it out of here, you've got to try it. I don't do much eating for joy. But that's not something you can control, is it? You either enjoy what you're eating, or you don't. I suppose you have a point. I know I do. For example, this little snake critter. I'm so damn hungry, it tastes amazing. We go on like this long enough, and I'm sure rocks will look like... Uh, bleh. I'm sure rocks will look like four-course meals. The mention of going on like this brought us back to reality. We were silent for a while. Well, big day tomorrow. Let's sleep. That night I dreamt. Welcome back! <laughs> it's you again. Who are you? Nothing. Just a dream. I've never had a recurring dream like this. You must be very tired. You must sleep tight. How about a soft pillow and a blanket? Wow, thank you. No problem, friend. I laid there, feeling the feathery softness of the pillow, the warmth of the blanket. I smiled. I suddenly realized the pillow and blankets were sand, comfortable sand. My subconscious drifted further away into darkness. Fourth day. It was a new day. Chance to find a place to climb, 94%. I'm sure I'll just get out now. Yep. Nice. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna take that one. The area ahead looked hazardous. We proceeded carefully. Got that old... See now, don't give me that as the way to get up, because look at my hunger. Oh, I need I need the distance from the sand though. Three more nights until the seventh day. I don't know how much longer we can keep up this pace. Do you know what is causing the sands to rise? This place is connected to another world. It could be anything. It is beyond our comprehension. For example, why does the sand come out of the ground, but we don't see it in the center of this? Have you been seeing anyone in your sleep? Nothing out of the ordinary? What do you mean? Nothing, just having some strange dreams. I heard this place was found in a failed attempt to find a golden land. So instead of a portal to knowledge and riches, they found a perfect prison. They say they are they say there are powerful creatures in the abyss. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was affecting your dreams. <laughs> why why from there would I be like, uh yeah, we should sleep. But he is right, we should sleep. Oh no. Wow, you look so tired. You're safe now. Just relax. I have to keep moving. I have to escape the sands. No, 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 no. It's not time for that. It's time to rest. Sleep. You're right. Where should I sleep? Why don't you lay down on this nice, soft bed? Oh, this is nice and soft. So much better than the stone floors. Why didn't I sleep here before? It's so comfortable, isn't it? Sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I felt all my muscles relax on the bed. My exhaustion poured out of me. I sank into the bed. I sank deep into the bed. Sank, sank, sank. So comfortable. Sleep forever. Sand started to pour on my face. This isn't a bed. I'm sinking into sand. Sand filled my eyes and my mouth and my lungs. I couldn't even scream. And then I woke up. We are on the fifth day. I think I might be able to one-shot this game. Ooh, we can climb up already. Oh, this is so close. This is only the fifth day. I was just saying that I might be able to one-shot it, and I don't think that's true. I think I might need to steal this food off my buddy as well. 
Uh, 10 guilt. Yeah, I can afford that. That's fine. Although, what happens? High guilt makes the prisoner more likely to have intrusive thoughts planted. Okay, that's fine. I feel like I should have been more conscious of my hunger from the very beginning. 13th floor. I really hope this isn't unlucky for me. <laughs> you know what? I haven't seen any of these strangers repay me. Oh, these are coming up because of my guilt. Okay. Bright idea. Craft a climbing hook. Adds use of one hook. When you climb, hook will reduce all stat costs. Except time. Go to zero. Oh, all costs to zero. Cool. Nice. Perfect. So, using the climbing hook, it's going to be fine to uh, use the secret path. Friend doesn't say anything. The usual friendly manner seems to have drained away. Maybe the distrust is too high? Two more nights until the sand recedes. We can do this. I know we can. I'm not sure a friend was even talking to me anymore. We just sat there in silence until we finished eating and went to sleep. Fair enough, like, we're exhausted. We've been going for five days. I hesitated to go to sleep, but I was too tired to refuse for long. That night I dreamt. Oh, there you are. The bed is ready for you. Get out of my head. So loud and angry at bedtime. You'll wake the others. Leave me alone. Stop playing with my mind. I know you're putting thoughts in my head. Oh no, now you've upset them. Who? What are you talking about? The dreamers, of course. Here they come. Now you've done it. You could have just rested in the bed. Several humanoid figures, crusted with sand and blood, started to clamber towards me. I tried to run, but they were everywhere, grabbing my legs and arms. They pinned me to the ground. One of them put its face right over mine, and began to vomit sand and blood into my face. I woke up screaming. Yucky! So, the hook... should save me, hopefully. But maybe it's only going to save me when I climb on my own? Let's find out. Yes, it did save me. That is good. Secret route. I, ju I just got to get away from that sand. It feels very close. Oh, my exhaustion's almost <laughs> 100 as well. Okay. Well. Okay, so these choices are all pretty bad right now. 20 guilds. <laughs> Hmm, that will put me almost at 100% exhaustion though. What happens? Three hours. Presumably the sand moves quite high when that happens as well. Okay. Oh, I can't. All of these are bad right now. I just need to eat food. The twilight has ended. The sand shouldn't be able to rise until next twilight. It's time to make camp. One more night. Just one more night. Friend repeats this a few times. Murder. What? Murder. You ask why I was sent here. I thought you said theft. I didn't lie before. There was theft. I had just left off the part where I murdered a man for his food. I don't care if you hate me. I deserve to be hated. The guilt eats at me every day. I won't forgive you for such a thing, but I do believe everyone deserves redemption. That sort of feels at odds, but fine. Redemption. I considered redemption for the rest of the night. Do I deserve redemption? Can one's crimes be forgiven? I vowed from then on to always do the right thing. I can make this right. Just have to survive till the end of tomorrow. That night I dreamt. Hello again. 
Are we going to be civil? <laughs> Apparently not. Ah, uh, I tried. I tried. You know that I tried, right? I tried to be your friend. Shame, shame, shame. You won't catch up to me, Sand Demon. I'm always one step ahead. Yeah, we seem to be doing alright. Sand Demon? Ha! The bloody sand creatures grabbed me. They began to pull my body apart piece by piece. The agony was unbearable. They started with my fingernails, then my teeth, then cuts into my stomach and slowly pulled out my intestines. The nightmare wouldn't end. They removed my hands, my feet, my arms, legs, tongue, eyes, head. I became nothing. There was no reality anymore. Only pain. Hey, pal. Still in there? Looks like our time is almost up. But don't forget, you'll be mine soon. Wake up. When I woke up, I just laid there, staring at nothing for a time, trying to keep my eyes open. And then I went to go pour myself some more coffee, before I continued playing the game. I'm never closing my eyes again. Seventh day, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> just go straight back to murdering. Um, no, let's do this, because the hunger uh, the exhaustion would be greatly appreciated. There was an incident where you encountered a bizarre creature. I threw some food at it to distract it and we escaped. You fool! <laughs> I was trying to avoid stuff like that. Friend, we made it. I can't believe it, we actually made it. The sands should recede from here on out. We should get some sleep. Friend's celebration seemed to be the cue for what felt like an earthquake. All the stone around us rattled and shook. A figure began to crawl its way out of the sands below. Whoop! <laughs> Hello. A hideous creature bathed in the twilight scowled up at us. Thought you could escape me? Oh, it's my dream buddy. To be continued. Thanks for playing the alpha version of Twilight Tower. Ooh, that was very good. Sign up for the newsletter and be the first to play the versions of Twilight Tower. Yes, absolutely.